My name is Steve Hampton. I am a client support specialist. I use Magical in the way that I interact with those people that we support. We use a ticketing system that, and this is a sample ticket that I've created for demonstration purposes. So people will often um, send in a ticket that they have misplaced their password or they need assistance logging in. So I've created some Magical extensions um, for example, one of the first things we would do is we would verify their identity. So I have a simple, it's semicolon I, um, I N I T for the initial message. And then I use a first name variable and then I would just insert this message. This message gets sent back to the user confirming their credentials script. And it's um, a semicolon. Um, C-O-N-C-R-E-D for confirming credentials. And so we put in their first name. Um, we would put in their um, email um, at our institution. And then as you go down, we also would put in their ID number. One of the things that's nice about this is we use um, passwords in multiple places. So that password variable will trans uh, transcribe throughout different portions of the magical that I use, but then we just insert that in and then I can um, send that to the user. And so they get that information. Uh, one of the nice things that we like about magical here is the ability to share our extensions. I work with a group of student uh, technicians. There's quite a bit of turnover because as students graduate, we have new students, technicians come in. So one of the nice things that I'm able to do is um, I have a whole library of magical extensions that we use in our department to reply to um, our users through our ticketing system. And so I can just share that entire library. So I have a lot of, um, I mean, as, as I scroll, you can see I have a lot of extensions. So for example, if a student wants to know how to install their Microsoft Office 365, we have a magical extension for that. And I can share that with all my student techs. They can just then take and change their uh, signature at the bottom, and then they have those extensions available for them. We already have responses for those student techs. As soon as they, they start, I just share the magical with them, and then they can become begin working from that. I will show you one other thing that I've done that I, I like. Um, I think by default, to get the list of your magical extensions, it's uh, forward slash forward slash. However, in IT, we're constantly typing URLs um, like, you know, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. So um, magical lets you change the shortcut. And I change the shortcut on ours to just be semicolon, semicolon. And then that gives me my list of magical extensions that I can use. Very seldom do you type two semicolons together when you're typing out anything. And I also use that as kind of the default first character for all of the magical um, extensions that we create because a semicolon without a space and then letters is something you wouldn't normally type in in your day-to-day -day conversations through email or something. So by using that semicolon and then a series of letters directly after it without any kind of space. Um, I use that to create our uh, magical extensions. I realize that I'm sending a lot of the same um, communications to people, but when I found magical and saw how well it integrated with the browser, most all of our stuff, I use teams in a browser. I use our ticketing system in a browser. So the fact that it integrates with Chrome, it just, it fits right nicely into my workflow. Music